Como va, this the Berean, I'm bringing you some cod on we you representing the clan one god and guys uh, uh, sometimes you know we go back and forth with the one and the Wii U Xbox one so here we are with a Wii U video and real quick I want to get into something that's controversial and everyone is speaking about it it is Ben Carson and they asked Ben Carson would you vote for a Muslim president and he said no and the correct response is Amen. And um, I like Ben Carson. Um, if he can get in there, I like what he stands for values wise. I want to research more about what he believes in the Bible. But um, from everything I hear, it sounds like he's a he is a Christian, and um, he is definitely standing on American values. And to come out and say something so boldly and so true, and the greatest thing is, you know, um, a, a friend of mine said this. He said. The Quran and what it teaches goes against our whole constitution. We started on people leaving where they were being persecuted by Rome and the Catholics and they came here searching for religious freedom. Um, it, it, it's just ridiculous that when this nation started it was to separate there were areas where they wouldn't even let um, the Catholics in for the persecution they received there there was an area where I believe it was in Massachusetts where the Catholics were first allowed to come and start a Catholic church there but we were trying to free from the persecution that was going on there um, and by we I just mean the people that here the Americans and um, it was to to say that you can worship however you want to worship as long as you're not breaking the laws of the land. The laws of the land, of course, come from God's word. Thou shalt not commit murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. You know, fornication is illegal. All these things are illegal because we got them from the word of God, God's word. And if you're going to come and, and introduce laws like Sharia law and other laws the Muslims preach, you go against our constitution and you are changing our nation. And amen for a Man that would stand up and say no and um, I just you know guys I'm, I'm a fan of Ben Carson I do hope he makes it in I my vote was for Scott Walker of course I'm from Wisconsin and um, just watching what, what Walker did here um, was amazing and um, I was just happy to see um, with the way he was turning us around here and, and just wanted to see different things like that put into play. But when you guys vote, remember, do you are you for abortion? Are you for murdering babies in the womb? And that's a message we're going to cover shortly soon. Um, but are you for um, gay marriage? Are you for things, you know, that stand for the Bible? Or are you for things that go against God's word? And when you vote, consider those things. And you see Ben Carson standing up for righteousness. And amen to Ben Carson. And that's a man that I want to vote for, man. You're going to put your foot forward and say no to Islam. Amen. Men, because I would like you people to become instead of being peace loving people, no, love everybody. That's not what Jesus said he came here for. In fact, Jesus said the opposite. He said, I came to cause division. And why did he say I came? He said, I came that the, he said, I didn't come to bring peace. He said, I came to bring division. Why? He said, Father against son, and son against father, and mother in law against daughter in law, and daughter in law against mother in law. Why? Why did he say these things? Because when you stand out for the truth in Jesus Christ, that is Jesus Christ or no way, then what? It's gonna cause division between people and it's gonna cause people to to be, you know, whoa, stand back, man. That guy stands strong on his faith. And I, I want you to understand some things about Islam and the verses in jihad, those are not extremists that say um, we need to kill Americans. I mean, over there, they're chanting, kill Americans. They, you, you saw it when they put out the videos and stuff. This is taught there. We have Muslims that have come here that have been born again and they're Christians and they love the Word of God and they love the Lord Jesus. Now, I would vote for them in a minute. I, it's not that I wouldn't vote for an Arabian. That has nothing to do with this. It has nothing to do with color. That has nothing to do with race. This has to do with where your values stand. Do you stand for Jesus Christ or do you stand against them? Period. Bottom line. And um, I, I pray you guys, I'm going to leave links to them in the description. But Walid Shubat was a terrorist a Muslim terrorist and went out and and was ready to set off a bomb and it didn't go off for some reason you can hear his full testimony I'll leave the link in the description but the man now serves the Lord Jesus Christ as a as, as just a, a, a godly man serving the Lord and the other person I'm gonna bring you to is Usama Dakdok and um, 
there are many folks you can you can find many I'm, I'm trying to think of the name of one that came and preached near us his testimony was unbelievable i wish i had that testimony um, i'm going to find it and eventually bring you that testimony but of what he went through in his nation and over there and and being when he became a christian and how they tried to kill him and what he what he went through just to try to get to freedom and amen for america and for freedom but trust me look around as i stood in a, um, a meet your neighborhood muslims in my neighborhood where they came and the Muslims came and they come and learn about Islam and they came and we all had questions and the first question raised was um, if you say you're a religion of peace then why are there so many verses that say to kill the people that don't comply to what you're preaching and um, they asked another question was if Muslim is such a peaceful 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 religion why do all the Muslim nations how come there's no peaceful nations that are Muslim I can't go to any of your Muslim nations and put up a cross and start a Christian church and worship Jesus there they'll kill me and there's no nations that offer this freedom to other beliefs um, because they X out other beliefs we don't want to X out other beliefs you know you say that's what we're doing no I I'm not saying get rid of the Buddhists or the Catholics who I disagree with their gospel and their Jesus or um, um, you name it, Hindus. I'm not saying X out Hindus or the, the Sikh uh, temple. I'm not saying X them out. No. I'm saying let them come here and have their freedoms and worship God. And that's what Ben Carson is saying. Ben Carson is saying, no, that Islam goes against that. Sharia law goes against that. He even said any Muslim who would denounce Sharia law and okay the Constitution, he would vote for them. But they can't do that. That goes against what they believe, folks. So they can't comply to our laws because it goes against against their whole religion and so it's a big difference in saying freedom there watch out for freedom and notice one thing that anytime you stand up for freedom in Jesus Christ and the, the what Jesus came the Bible says all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution do not believe the prosperity if you become a Christian life goes great God loves you oh everything's gonna go great that's not what the Bible says the Bible says Jesus will be there for you and walk with you but um, I'm out, I'm out, I'm running over. There's more to come on this topic, plus many more to talk about it. But you guys, please, 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 if you're old enough to vote, or if you are, then, then talk to your parents about these things. Because, man, who we vote for in our next presidency can really destroy us. Um, President Obama has really, the, the whole Democratic Party has really brought down a lot of the true Christian values in this nation. And we are running rampant with uh, immorality throughout all our videos, through our TV. TVs through everything and some laws need to be put in place to crush that. That's it. God bless you guys all from the one guy clan of Berean out.